Hey guys, it's Marvel Dad here from Norway. What's today on the table? It's Cable. It is Hasbro, it is Marvel Legend, but it's Fox Movie Deadpool 2 version that was played by Josh Rowling. Pretty cool box, kept in the same style. Information about the age, who is it for? It's not for kids, 14 plus, same as this YouTube channel. It's not Nathan Summers. It's cable, so it looks like Wade was trolling the box. Pretty cool looking from the sides and from the back. Pretty clean and plain inside. Very simple backdrop with X on the back. No clutter, you can easily see the figure and all the accessories that it comes with. And he comes with, with a lot of them. Two grenade launchers, a gun and two fisted hands. So we have two gun holding hands and two fisted hands. One is metallic with this techno virus all over it. So there is a continuation. They didn't forget about it or they didn't went easy route with just giving him full glove. So when it comes to his arsenal, first we have FN EGLM grenade launcher. He used it in the icebox scene of the movie. Later we have Walter PPQ Q5 match. A pretty cool gun, very well detailed. A little bit on the short side but it's it's still pretty good, looks good on the photos. In the movie he actually rocked two of them. Shame we have only one but we we can we can still do something with it. Second granite launcher is the single shot 40 millimeters under barrel M203 that can do pretty good damage. Walter gun goes quite sniffly in a gun holder right behind his hip. The second holder is for grenade launcher. The great thing about them is that they don't hinder the articulation of his legs. Same goes with his dark green colored military style rain coat that he wears as a poncho or cape sort of it doesn't hinder uh, his articulation too much and it really looks uh, movie accurate really great job on, the, on that one so when it comes to his uh, big freaking gun there is a lot of details a lot of things come into the scene of him setting this thing up was really really iconic in a way so as the base we have chris vector gun with a glock 30 round magazine i'm not really sure on the internet it says that uh, the chris vector gun comes with uh, 19 uh, to 21 millimeters uh, bullets but only 10 millimeters when it's fully automatic so i'm not sure which version he used uh, in the movie uh, single shot 40 millimeters under barrel granite launcher m203 that has uh, that we can mount under by ourselves and then right under the flashlight there is this another xm203 smaller version of grenade launchers <laughs> he has two of them AR15 type barrel shroud as external covering for barrel it protects you, you you from from all the all the heat sniper rifle on top i don't know how he managed to put fit that on but it looks like he placed this 50 caliber bad boy on top of it and 50 calibers guys it's RIP to your arm, leg or head if it hits you. At the end has this mount muzzle brake that hips the gun from to, to, to stay on a target by reducing recoil. And this barrel is able to to hit the target from two up to four thousand meters. So we're talking two to four 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 kilometers. It's a really really a deadly sniper weapon. Phoenix TK76 flashlight on the side, he used it in a movie. Scope on the top, wooden Tommy uh, gun stock with uh, camo gaffer tape 
they really take care even though on the details and uh, amplifier knob with option to go higher than 10 go to 11 because you know you need a good loud music when you have your action scenes in a uh, Fox movie whatever in an action superhero movie that's uh, more or less all I, I was able to, to, to found on the internet about this gun. If I missed something or you guys found something more interesting about the gun, please leave me in a comment. I'm, I'm really digging this kind of things. So his head has this new dumbbell joint. Uh, of course he can look right, left, this much up, this much down, tilt, swivel at the bicep double jointed elbow goes really far both wrists swivel of course and trigger hands have hinge up and down while the fisted ones go in and out hinge at the torso he can go this much down really good up cut on the waist so he can turn and he can go very much out when it comes to his split almost Van Damme really impressive very good up really decent back double jointed knee gives him the chance to almost kick himself he can go up and down and rock with his ankles and he has cut on his uh, high boots but I didn't use it really all the details when it comes to his um, cape or poncho uh, very well made it really looks uh, like a fabric you probably can replace it with some soft goods but it's up to you vest looks really tactical all the details carabines extra magazines uh, grenades with a little bit of uh, goldish golden color the belt as I mentioned uh, gun holders holsters and there's this belt on his tie. I've noticed that on uh, uh, in a movie, it's actually accurate. He had this extra cable, or like a rope around uh, for the uh, for the granite launcher holder holster to 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 stay on his on his tie. Boots, peaks on the on the bottom of his feet. Really, really well well done. All the paint application on my is are really great, and of course the head sculpt is is awesome. It's just just great what they do. It's like it's like it's almost like having a hot toy figure, but for a fraction of the price. And how he scales with other figures. Uh, one of the smallest, shortest guys, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, and the bigger, like Bishop and one of the rivers here is with cyclops and colossus from diamond select and here is with also fox movie version wolverine played by hugh jackman they scale pretty good together i must say they and we have some head swaps black panther movie version claw gambit Wolverine comic book version with Havoc I was going for his look from Genosha when he was a guard Iron Man from Black Panther Wave Wolverine Fox uh, movie version make sure to check my review of uh, Fox movie version Wolverine it's a pretty awesome figure as well don't forget to like and subscribe take care